What's up guys, this is iPod Royal Dudes, and today I'm going to be making a video showing you how to remove thermal paste. And the reason I'm doing this is because I looked up videos on YouTube before and I didn't see any good ones, so I decided to make a good one. So, you have um, the different ingredients you need is, uh, the first thing first is the alcohol, it's isopropyl alcohol. You're going to want a very high concentration, so 70% or higher is recommended. And as you can see on this one, we have 91%. You can buy this at your local Walmart, it was like a buck fifty. So it's, that's not that expensive. Also, um, you can buy like 99% on Amazon. Um, it's a little more expensive and honestly, you'd be fine with 91%. And you're gonna need one of three things to wipe off the thermal paste from your CPU. You're going to need either A, a coffee filter, as you can see I've already used it because I put way too much thermal paste on. Uh, B, some Q-tips. These are, I would purely recommend these the least. These are the ones you don't really need. And C, the best option would be a microfiber like glasses cleaning cloth. Walmart, you can send me a check in the mail for advertising. So anyways, so we can, um, this is what I'm gonna be using because it's the best. Uh, I got off most of the most of the goop here with this without using any alcohol, but now to remove um, the majority of it, as you can see here, we're going to use alcohol and we're going to use a microfiber cloth. What you're gonna do is you're gonna um, take your can and you're gonna put a little bit just to dampen it. Now the reason we use isopropyl alcohol is because it evaporates really quickly, um, so it'll be good. And it also doesn't leave very much residue. So now as you can see, I kind of have the cloth damp right here in the middle. And I'm going to go down and see how I have my original packaging. This way the pins don't actually touch the bottom here, so this is a good a good thing to have to clean it. Um, so hopefully you have something, or you're gonna to have to hold it with one hand and clean it with the other. So either way, now we're going to swipe in one direction when we clean this thing. So we'll go in this direction. And this is going to take quite a while, just be patient. All right, so as you guys can see here, we are clean most of it, and um, the best part about isopropyl alcohol, the reason why, the number one reason why you use it is because it evaporates quickly and because it do, it cleans well and doesn't use lots of res and doesn't leave lots of residue like 50% isopropyl alcohol will. Um, it's because it, they have more water, which dilutes it more, and then further more contaminants likely. So now, um, as you can see, the CPU looks very clean and it evaporates very quickly. I would still, however, recommend waiting at least. Um, two minutes or so to let it dry fully because the one thing you never want to do is have wet components and turn them on. If they're off, it's not the end of the world, but when they're on, that's that bad things will happen. So now, as you can see, my cloth here is got a little dirty, but all I have to do is just clean it and it'll be back to normal. So that, my friends, is how to remove thermal paste from your CPU. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Hope you found it useful. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment.